The University of Alabama did not make the grade when it comes to campus safety. WVUA 23's Ashlyn Irons has more. I would always get kind of freaked out late at night, like walking back. With two more cases of attempted robbery and sexual assault reported near UA's campus in the last month, students say they don't always feel safe. According to collegefactual.com, the Crimson Tide did not win the national championship in campus safety. The university scored a C minus, with the city and region surrounding it scoring a D minus. Students say they are not surprised. It's something no one wants to talk about. It's something no university wants to highlight. I feel like there could be more transparency with the school about like what's going on. UA senior Rebecca Curley explains why she feels unsafe walking home at night alone. It's not easy being a woman anywhere. It's especially not easy being a woman on campus with frat culture and relative poverty. The Strip is one of the many popular places on campus where UA students say they don't always feel safe. Matt Loft, a sophomore, says he is a man even gets scared walking late at night. When someone has a gun, it doesn't matter how big you are, there's nothing you can do. The university and the Student Government Association have installed blue phones and bright lights around campus, as well as starting a few campaigns to prevent violence and sexual assault. But Loft tells us this isn't as effective as expected. With the blue phones, you know, we're saying it once, see another one, that's not necessarily always true. And those are supposed to be one of the big emergency uh, preparedness things. But Curly highlights something the university is doing right. Women and Gender Resource Center is quite adept and quite capable. You know, they do the best they can and they do quite good work. In Tuscaloosa, Ashlyn Irons, WVUA 23 News. University students hope that the newly elected SGA president Lillian Roth will carry on current president Elliot Spiller's legacy of attention towards campus safety. The university declined an opportunity to participate in this story.